One alpha, take one. Mark. The Sorry, camera? Look into the camera? Into the camera? Yeah. Uh, what are some soul crushing moments when you have a crush? Some soul crushing moments when you have a damn crush. Every moment. <laughs> Every moment. Would you ever it's almost painful to see your crush because you are so aware of them, but they maybe don't even know you exist. Running into your crush usually happens when you don't want it to happen. It's a Sunday morning and you just went hiking and you're at the post office, you know what I mean? Like, it's usually when you smell worse than you usually do. You wonder if you should make the first move, but you don't want to seem too eager. So first you have to like work up the courage just to send them the text message. And then you wait. <laughs> And then you just wait, and wait, and wait. Finally, they text you back, and that's, that's great. When you have a crush for so long, and then you first get to hang out with them, and you just feel like you're gonna vomit all over yourself, and you end up like not being able to speak human languages, <laughs> or like real sentences, and you just wanna die. Yeah. I mean, no one knows if it's a date or not. Even if I want it to be a date, I don't know if it's a date. Is it a date? What is a date? God, that movie was so good and so sad. I love Amelia Clark. I think she's hotter as Khaleesi, to be honest. What? She looks so good in this movie. So then you worry if you're in the friend zone, which is a difficult one to navigate. Yeah, but I'm more into blondes. Is that weird? No, it's fine. I'm, well, uh, I'm blonde. like, Blonder. Do yeah. you want that You're person right. <laughs> to know that you like them, or do you want to pretend that you don't like them, hoping that they realize that you like them? The worst thing is when you're waiting for a text from your crush and your phone buzzes and you're so excited, your heart's gonna fall out of your butt, but then you look at it and it's actually just like your mom, or like Sally Mae, or like your bank. Ah, uh, then you just get frustrated with yourself for not making a move. Every day you have like a new plan of how you're gonna approach this person, yep. tell them how much you've loved them for so long, and then... Something happens. Hey, are you seeing anyone? Uh, no. Why? I'm just wondering, you know. Wondering if I'm single? Oh, just wondering. Okay. And then you think something's gonna happen. And this is it. It's on. And then stuff doesn't doesn't turn out the way you, you'd hope. Oh. Hey. Hi. <laughs> how are you? This is my friend, Zach. Oh, hi. Nice, nice to meet you. you. So I'm gonna go to the bathroom, but I'll let you two talk. Oh, okay. How do you guys know each other? Oh, we're both like very prominent members of the Paul community, and like they're there, yeah. Oh. So, like, <laughs> <laughs> no, right? It's weird. Ooh, another crappy thing about a crush is when you see that person with someone else. That hurts. That stinks. Then you drink too much and you do something stupid and you just want to curl up into a ball and die. And you can't stop replaying that over and over and over in your brain. And you know that you've ruined everything. And it was just like, why did you send that text? You know, or like, why did you do that dumb thing? You just want to walk straight into traffic. End it now. And once you do something embarrassing, you have to avoid them forever yeah. until you or they die, whoever dies first. I don't know, you're sad for a while, but then things go back to normal. You just continue to live life because that's what you have to do and eventually it'll be fine. It's chill. Being around them isn't humiliating anymore. I mean, you still want to rip their clothes off, but it's fine. It is sad when you still like someone, but you're just friends. Crushes suck. You're still alone. Sure. But, uh... It's fine. <laughs> it's cut. You almost ruined our friendship! <laughs>